All right, good morning from central Sri Lanka. Right now we're on our way to a little town called Mahiangana, about an hour's drive from here. Check out the views. Now I've got to say, Sri Lanka has to be one of the nicest countries to drive in the world. End of. It is so chilled out, so scenic. It's looking lovely. So here we go. I look at this for a road. There's just no one here. Whee. Now this is the main road here in Sri Lanka. Look at it. There's bloody no one here. Look at this. Over on this side we've got an incredible view of the Knuckles mountain range in the distance. Look at that. Slipping well nice. Right then we have made it to Mahiangana and being honest I don't know how I managed that hour drive because we haven't had breakfast I'm absolutely starving and when I get hungry I get proper angry I felt like just driving us into a ditch but we're here now it's all okay and we've come to one of our favourite type of spots here in Sri Lanka where all the women make solid home cooked food in little windows we've got a massive choice Hello, how are you? So this should be good. Let's get a big breakfast. And there's all kinds of stuff we haven't seen before here. And I think that's because the area we're in now is a Singalese majority area. So far on this Sri Lanka trip, we've been in pretty much Tamil areas. So food can be a little bit different. So yeah, what have we got? Loads of good stuff. Looks really good to be fair. There's quite a few things like you said we've not seen, so I'm looking forward. Jaggery hoppers. One of the things you wanted to try. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. So we'll do a little lap and get a few bits and have this big breakfast then we can start the day right. No grumpiness. Right everyone, so far it turns out I've accidentally got a plate full of sweet things so what we're gonna do is have another walk around and try and get something savoury as well. We just grabbed a couple of juices, papaya juice and a local fruit juice. So we'll take these to the table. We'll finish getting stuff and then we'll show you what we've got. And here we have it. It appears we've pretty much ended up with a table full of breakfast sweets. So. Here we have some type of kittle dessert, looks quite good. Leisha's got the wandu, which I think is like rice flour, coconut milk, and I have no idea what else, steamed. Then we've got the jaggery hoppers, here we go, they look quite good, I wanted to try these. Then we've got this, which I forgot the name of, but inside here I think there's sweet coconut filling in like a string hopper. And then the halapa, which is a strange flower wrapped up in this leaf with coconut, cardamom, jaggery, I don't know. Oh, and then the jackfruit cutlets, which actually look really good and these are fresh, just come out of the fryer. That's what you want. And our juice, should we try the juice first? So this is amla, like a little gooseberry. And this is papaya. Which one do you want first? I'll try this one gooseberry. First, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Papaya juice, eh? It's well good, so refreshing, and just like, just tastes good to be in. It's refreshing, it's a little bit bitter as well to be honest. Really? Yeah, it's got like that funny chalk, it makes your tongue feel funny after you drink it. Mm. Oh, 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 that's a funny one. I'm not going to say it's bad, mm. but I'm not going to say it'd be at the top of my ordering list either. Mm. It's a bit funky, that. I'm hey. drinking that. <laughs> this is really good, the papaya juice is sweet. Now I think we should start off with the most savoury thing we got. Jackfruit cutlet, I'm just going to rip that open. Wow, that looks fantastic. The lady told me it's spicy. I don't think she knows who we are. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Filled with young jackfruit. And when you're driving around here, you see people just carrying little jackfruits everywhere. So let's try that. Oh, uh -oh. That is really good. A little bit salty. Maybe too salty actually. Oh, what the hell? Maybe salt lid fell off when they were making them. See, so yeah, the filling doesn't actually taste that much. It's just very salty and then spicy as well. It's alright, the outside's really nice. Nice and crispy and fresh. It's alright. 
maybe a bit less salt and it'd be fantastic. I burned my tongue, it was that salty. I feel like I've got no skin left. You need to drink 10 litres of water now. Yeah. Gosh, dehydrated for day. Next we've got those jaggery hoppers, so I'm just going to rip this in half and see what's inside. Here we go. It's very spongy. You're in the middle, look at that. How is it, Leash? It tastes like a crumpet, if you love the truth. It doesn't taste that sweet. No. It didn't really taste much of jaggery. I feel like I'm being big fat here, so it just tastes <laughs> like the middle of a crumpet. Hmm. Yeah, it just tastes like an airy crumpet, like an airy cake, but it just has a very subtle sweet taste, like a really subtle jaggery taste, that natural sugar taste, but it is subtle. Right. Now this actually looks all right, so I think this is a string hopper. It will be like sweet coconut, and it looks that way. So let's try this. Very sweet. That is good. I like that. That's very good. It can't be coconut sugary goodness. And wrapped up in a string hopper with that funny texture. That's an interesting snack. We'll get that again, definitely. So I grabbed a cup of tea, which is black tea, but she gave me this little lump of, I'm guessing it's jaggery. It smells very good, it smells like treacle. So I think you just take a little nibble and then sip on your tea, so let's try it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, black tea with no sugar in it. I really like that idea, because then you can like adapt tea to like sip how sweet you want it. <laughs> I think some people like just put it all in their mouth and sip, but... <laughs> I don't think I'm up for that one. Uh, yeah, different way of drinking tea. We've not had it this way yet in Sri Lanka. Okay, so I also got one of these steamed cakes. The Wandu. Wandu, yeah. It's a funny name, isn't it? Wandu. So she steamed it in like a metal tray, and then I'm guessing it's sweet. But I it said looks, it was sweet. It literally just looks like a cake, like a steamed cake. You know what it looks like? Kind of pan. Puto. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think it's going to be exactly like that. I think it's going to be a bit salty That's as well. It's steamed, steamed uh, rice flour. And it doesn't smell sweet. It tastes like boot top. It's coconut. They've got coconut in it. Tiny bit sweet, but nothing major. I think it's coconut and rice flour. Batter, steamed. Yeah. Essentially a boot isn't it? But I asked, I said, oh, do you eat it dry? And she told me to drink it well, dry. Because it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that. Doing it the proper way. That would actually just have a good big rice cake. It's halapa time. Look at this. This looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? You know what it actually looks like? A flattened cow poo in a leaf. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Looks a bit suspect, doesn't it? But it might be very good. So we'll just break some of the inside off. There we go. She said, I think she said kudukan flour. I've dropped it on the table. Crying out loud. Flour, jaggery, coconut, a lot of madness. It's me closing my eyes, I'm trying to analyse the flavours. It doesn't taste that much. I need a little bit of sweet. A bit of an earthy taste. I'm not getting that much from it. A bit of like a, a burnt taste as well. From home with the cup tip. It's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say everything's like the best thing ever, it's okay. See this here, right? It's drier than my sense of humour. Drier than Gandhi's flip flop, you could say. I don't think I'd order it again. Oh, everything gets a, a chance from it, one chance. Forgot about this young lad, we've got to try that kittle dessert. It's almost like jelly. Oh, that's alright, that. It's got a really nice natural taste to it. 
it's a, it's a light sweetness. It's weird though, it's like, I don't know, it's like jelly, moussey, it's weird. It's all right. At least she felt bad because we've had such a terrible sweet breakfast. She got herself a bowl of fruit for 100 rupees. Pineapple, melon, papaya, banana. I love papaya. The papaya here is really good. Normally it tastes like nothing. It's really good. Shall I come papaya alright? We need to pay, and I think in here you actually pay a cashier instead of each individual woman like we've been doing in the past. So at least she's going to have to show the lady a picture of everything we have. She can't remember. Okay. So everything was 700. She already knew. She must have liked when we ordered, everyone must have worked it out because they knew we were clueless foreigners. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Right. So. I've got to be honest, a bit of an underwhelming breakfast. But it is what it is, every meal in life can't be top tier. It's just how it is. Usually they are, but today it ain't the case. So we're going to head off on the bike to a very beautiful temple here in Mahayangana. And then we're just going to check out the area. Go on, son, my sweet lady. Look at this, the second you pull off the road out of Mahayangana town and the views are cracking. Just those massive mountains over there. The temple is literally just behind us. You can probably hear it. But before we go over there, just need to check out this river view. Look at that for an absolutely incredible view. Look at this river cutting through. Everything's so green, the mountains are amazing in the background. And then you look down around you and you see this is basically a landfill. What a mess. Over here we've got piles of burning plastic. Gosh. So yeah, over there you've got heaven. You've got the lovely stupa over there, beautiful. And then it's hell around here. Hello, sir. I might know English. No English? Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. You've come to look at the view. Very beautiful. I mean, it is a lovely view, you can't deny. Let's get on front to Mahiangana Council, say, clean your shit up here. You're destroying such a beautiful view. Come on, lads. Not good enough. These poor birds having to, like, jump around, innit? Juice shop, yeah, on the corner, yeah. Juice stand with you. That would be good. There's also some crazy birds here that I might have to put a picture on because I don't know what they are. You probably can't see them. They've got these massive beaks, yellow beaks. And they're also eating out of this shit. Anyway, let's check out the temple. Yeah, we've got a new mate there. What's he doing with his little bag? He's looking for somewhere to camp. <laughs> don't, know what, don't know what he's up to. I'm having one last morning because it just wouldn't be a good video without it, would it? Let's be honest. So, whose idea were it to dump all this shit here, right? I get it. You might have to burn it. You might not have a way to dispose of it. But out of everywhere, choose somewhere better than the nicest view in town on the river. Come on. Pick an ugly corner of town to throw all the shit. Not one of the most beautiful spots. Come on. Who's fucking idea with that? They need throwing it bin. So we're gonna look at temple. As you can see, we've got a giant stoop here. It looks really nice. Try and get inside somehow. Hey up. Look at this then. Giant Buddhist stupa. Ours is actually one of the oldest temples in all Sri Lanka. You might be able to see at the side, the backdrop is just the mountain range. It's pretty nice. Yeah, you could say it's well nice. Look at this. And there's just absolutely no one here. I think that's because it's so hot. But yeah, just does. And a few add-ons walking around the gardens. See so yeah, a nice place to come and sit for a little while in the shade. Look at that. Lovely. There he is. Our best mate. 
He's floating straight from Thailand to say hello to us. Right, mate. That's him. This for a road just pulled off the big one. Now it looks like we're going through the back roads. Through the countryside. Hello! <laughs> Look at this. Lovely, innit? So we're trying to find a little bit of a swimming spot. And I think this is beautiful here, but it sounds like a construction site. You can hear it over there in the distance. So, will it be a nice serene swim? I don't know. But look at this, this is someone's house. It's beautiful. You see ya? Well, well, well everyone. We were gonna go for a nice, serene, freshwater swim in this summer heat. But I don't think it's gonna be happening. Feast your eyes upon this. I mean, depressing, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's a construction site, they're doing something, I don't know. No water anymore. So yeah, this is what happens sometimes when you're just looking at Google Maps and just looking at the area and just seeing somewhere and going, I'm gonna go there. You end up in a place like this. When you throw above on the picture, you can see water. What have they built here? You could go for a swim if you really wanted to, I don't think it'd be very good though. I've just seen these lads fishing down by this canal, so I'm going to go take a look at what's going on. See what they're doing, check out the views eh. Let's see. Quite a nice place. Ah. Hello lads, what's up matter? Good? So these lads are just fishing with a homemade fishing rod, literally just a stick that they're just dangling off the edge of here with some line on Pretty cool isn't it? And as you can see they've got a little makeshift umbrella with just enough shade to cover his head uh -huh. Right Got our mate over there as well doing the same thing I don't know how they do it How they sit in this heat Quite a nice view though, isn't it? Look at that, peaceful. Yeah, I mean, great, good luck, lads. <laughs> oh, hell. Chatty they were. Eh? Tell you what, though, mental, mental for sitting in that sun, honestly. I mean, they are extremely dark, though, aren't they? I mean, Look at us. Half an hour of sun just kills us, turns into a flipping red lobster. Quite a nice view, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh! Did you miss that stork down there? Wow, look. There she goes. Yeah. Leash said over there, there's a group of young lads being absolute bastards, picking a little dog up by its like neck and legs and like trying to throw it into the river. It's a bit tight, isn't it? I don't need to do that, do you? Don't need to use a poor, innocent dog as your toy to take your anger out on, do you? Bloody poor thing. That's what's it done wrong. Leave it be. How do someone can pick you up and whizzed you in? It really does say a lot about you as a person. When you treat animals like that, we've seen it in a lot of countries like this. Like people like throwing rocks at dogs in cages and stuff and like like booting them about and like throwing them. It's very strange, to be honest. Does it make you feel like a big man? Because you're not a big man, you're a pussy. On the way back home, we've just pulled in to this little restaurant spot. We're gonna get a drink and some food. It's just far too hot. Honestly, I'm dripping in sweat. But let me just show you this nice view we've got. Down by the river, it actually says, danger to drowning. 
do not bathing. Number of deaths reported. So I don't think it's a great place to swim. It's still quite nice, isn't it? So, me and Lee's just gonna share one plate chicken, rice and curry, rice and chicken curry. It's 400, 300 for a veg portion. Decent prices. As you can see, it's just a simple spot in here. I think this is ours actually now. There we go. Cheers. Then we've also got a flipping ice cold glass cork. What's the world come to on the corks? Here's what it is. That's how I pulled over. Driving in the sun just does me in. I can't, I can't handle it. I'm no good at driving a motorbike. I can do 20 30 minutes and I'm done. Some good sugar though when you feel like this is what you need. It really bring you back to life. Oh my gosh. This is so much food, sir. Bloody hell everyone. Look at this. So we've got a giant bowl of rice. What have we got? Is this the chicken curry? I think it is. Look at that. That looks really good actually. Curry itself. Some type of potato curry. A doll. Some... What's that? What is that? Onion. Chilli. Pineapple. I don't know what that is anyway. What else have we got? These like? green beans. Yeah, green beans and chilli. And is this um thing it? Soy... Yeah. Whatever you call them. Little balls. Soy little... Soy balls. Soy balls. Wow, what a name. What a good name. Cheers, so, is this one portion? Yeah. Flipping heck. Is this... I'm sure he's given us two portions here, look. No, because he's given you one plate. Well, whoever these portions are for, the fat bastards. And there we go, that actually looks like a really good plate of food, doesn't it? Some nice dishes there. And then yeah, the big piece of chicken is looking sexy. No, 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 it's okay, this is okay, super cheers. Yeah, I don't want any more. We've already got flipping loads. Look. Look how much food we've got. The portions are mental. We said, let's just nip in here and get like a, just a tiny snack just to show. Look what's happened. This always happens. But this is one portion. So chicken and stuff. It's really good value if it's 400 because that's like, that is literally one English pound. Like, you can't get better than that in many places. And for the quality, because it's home cooked, just like tasty food. You know what I mean? Like, who needs. A fancy restaurant, you know what I mean? You don't need it. This is this is better. I've got to say, we've had food in Sri Lanka, right? I'm going to say this now. In like hotels or places where, you know, unfortunately we had to eat. And if it's in a place where foreigners go, they make the food really bland. There's like pretty much no chilli in it whatsoever, and it's not very good. You go to somewhere like this, it's only flipping people around here are going. They're making it to the proper palate, and it's good stuff. What have you found? This part I think it is. Umbrella. umbrella. Is it umbrella? We'll have to find out. It looks a bit like umbrella. Right. Let's see how this is then. I actually have quite high hopes, you know. For a little unassuming, humble roadside spot, it looks quite good. And it was busy. There was quite a few patrons in. What do we try first? We're going to just try this actually, because is it potato? Is it umbrella? What is it? We'll find out. What is that? That's so weird, it's like sweet and sour. I don't know what it is. Genuinely. Is it umbrella? I think it is umbrella because you have to eat around the stone. It's different than the one we have. Maybe it's umbrella, you know? Because there's that fibrous bit in the middle you can't really eat. Right. Let's just try a bit of the curry there. Mix it in. It's quite good though, just a very interesting taste. Like it's an unusual one. It's like very distinct. Let's try this properly then, we'll get a big piece of the chicken. Now he's been generous with that chicken. It's a giant piece he's given us. So much meat. So there we go. Break a big bit off. Let's spread it. It's spicy. It's what you want. Actually has a kick to it. Mmm. And the gravy it's in. It's hot. It's good though. I like it because we've got a lot of different stuff. We've got that like, salad dish, which is live. And you've got the heavier chicken dish. You've got the classic doll. The green beans. 
what isn't to love? So essentially, we'll just mix all this together and make it look terrible. But it'll taste good. So it doesn't matter. What's this? Hey! Oh. Crows behind us. It was pure filth what I was doing then. It was, you know where people wash their hands? Yeah. And all the bits were in the sink. It was eating them. Oh, disgusting. Now this dish here, those soy balls we call them, whatever you are going to call them, it's actually quite good. Like, it doesn't really taste of anything. It's just kind of a strange spongy texture, but whatever you cook it in, it's the taste you get. And they're always spicy. And they're good. That's all you get in professional food here. Yeah. It's a solid meal. What can I say? What do you think of this five-star gourmet Hilton rooftop meal? I like this. Umbrella. Umbrella. It's like quite spicy. Like everything's spicy. It's really good. Like you say, it's really good. Like it's really good. cracking price, cracking value. Here's a little kitchen here, I'm just having a bit of a nosy, a bit of a peek in. Okay, cheers mate. Rasavat, Rasavat. <laughs> no, it was really good. Genuinely, and we just paid, I think the rice and curry was 400 or 500 for everything for both of us. Now I've got a story time for you. So we're staying at a hotel, not too far from here, right? And the other day, he offered us dinner, which was pretty much the exact same as we just had maybe even less food and he wanted to charge 2,200 Sri Lankan rupees each so 4,400 for the same food we've just paid 4,500 for both of us what's that all about? that's taking the absolute piss that in it so we were like nah mate, they're definitely, most definitely not we'll just go into town spend 300 each crazy stuff so maybe that's the thing, maybe in places that or hotels, oh yeah, places that are visited by just only pretty much foreign tourists. They just gouge the prices like that here in Sri Lanka. I mean, they do it in most of Asia, but we haven't experienced it yet until then. But that's ridiculous because that food was genuinely really good for that price as well. Spicy, really tasty, and it's the same. It's just home cooked food. This lady is just cooking every day fresh. It's the same. So there's no justification to charging that much. And if you're already staying with someone and paying like a decent amount of money a night, if anything, the food should be the same as everywhere else or a bit less because you're already making money off the room. You don't need to swindle someone. It does me head in, that's it. Rant over. It's like the fourth rant today, I'm on one. I'm quite shocked when he said 2,200. Ridiculous. Each. Each. That's six pounds. Jog on. That is with me. Shall we see if it fits and you can come on the back with us? Oh, that's a oh, a bit too big actually. I don't know if you'll be allowed on. I was going to say, you could have come in here, miss. Hey? You can cheer anyone's day up, can't you, little doggo? Oh, don't lick me. Hey? Beep, 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 beep. She's quite cute, to be fair. Oh, free fleas. <laughs> oh, what's that? Wildcats crossing? No way. On the way here, we drove down this exact road. And we saw a wildcat. It must have been. I, di I didn't know what it was. It was in the road and I was like, why is that thing jumping around? That doesn't look like a dog. It's not acting like a dog. It was like doing some weird jumping. It was a wildcat. Look, National Park. We're in the National Park area. So yeah, a lot of wildlife kicking around. So we saw a baby wildcat. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It didn't know what to do. It got into the road and it looked around. It shit itself. It was like, where do I go now? I've got one last story time for you now. We're full of them today. We're on a right morning, a right rant. Over on the left, somewhere in the jungles, is a Veda village. Now the Veda people are an ancient indigenous group here in Sri Lanka, ancient group, hunter-gatherers, right? And they've set up the village into an absolute big fat stinking tourist trap. So whatever you do, I'm telling you, avoid it at all costs. So you go in and I can guarantee before you go in, no one's doing anything. And then the second you go in, they start pretending to do all the things they used to do 50 years ago, or whatever, doing the traditional dances, the traditional whatever. And then they'll just ask you for like ridiculous sums of money. And as I'm telling you this, there's something in the road. What's that? Some type of big lizard, which is distracting me. Can you see him crossing the road there? 
Hey mate, speed up, there's a tuk tuk coming. Yeah, go on, yeah, go on. What do you see him crossing the road? Um, and yeah, they just ask for crazy sums of money and then just they're really aggressive if you don't pay. And it's just one of them shitty tourist villages. They have them in everywhere in Asia, Northern Thailand, they've got them, you know, for the, the old tribe people, Indonesia. Avoid them wherever you go because they are just toxic, miserable. Bullshit. It's bullshit, innit? Nice view though, look at this rock. Beautiful that. I'd like to climb that. It's a bit hot though. Look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Stay up. Yeah, Lee must be hot, right, mate? He must be hot. What's he doing, Leash? Ellis, why did you scream more right, mate? Imagine you just walking. I'm just saying hello. All right, mate. Oh, next time we'll go, right, geezer! Honestly, everyone, we're absolutely cooking driving home down these roads. As you can see, there's just nobody out at this time of day, and I don't blame them. It's too hot. So we've seen our mate at the side of the road under this massive tree, and we're just going to get a little Sri Lankan orange juice, freshly squeezed, fresh as you like. Look, he's got his little squeezer there. This should be good. A little bit of sugar water. Well, a little bit. <laughs> So here we go. Oh, is this this pepper? Pepper seeds. They're like frog spawn, don't they? This is the pepper. Gamiris. 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 Oh. This is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Proper street juice. You can never beat these. This is 150 a glass. And yep, yeah, we've got some ice, so we're going to be um, basking in it. Look at this, hey, he's going a bit fast down here, isn't he? There we got a beat. Yeah, nice place to sit, look, he's got his little impromptu seating area. Flippy heck. This looks good, actually. Oh, thank you, thank you. There we go, Leash, look at that, do you want the first sips? Oh, you've got that pepper in there, the seeds floating around. Look at that. It's a funky one. It's well good. Super. It's really peppery. Really? Yeah, it's really delicious. Pepper tastes fresh. Isn't it? What a good combo. Whoever invented this, bloody well done. It does look like frog spawn though, floating around, doesn't it? Those little seeds. It's good, that. It's well good. <laughs> Almost good, mate. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Right. Off we go into the fucking heat again. Look at Leachy's helmet as well, everyone. It's literally, give us a spin, it's like a children's bicycle helmet, I swear. It feels like a piece of paper. It doesn't even fit on my head. <laughs> I just like pushing it <laughs> Right, um, it's been an eventful day, hasn't it? It's not being the most eventful, no, but um, some days are absolutely wonderful. Some days are just average, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we have an average day. I should probably still just post the video anyway, because why not? We literally can't help ourselves when you're driving down these roads you see all this fruit out a sign saying fresh juice it's just rude not to like just get off the bike have a chill in the shade so we're getting a king coconut one of these big ones i mean they don't look too great though do they, they look a bit um well, i've been through a few wars and we're getting that mixed with lime she's just taking it inside to do some get some bobs cutting it up and you know making it and all that should be all right, my voice just went. It's a low energy day. Name me a better drink than king coconut and lime. I don't know if there is one. So good. So refreshing. That's a good drink. Best one we had though, in Batty Clower outskirts. You've seen it. Drink we had there might be one of the best of had in my whole life. I still stand to that statement. What's this we've spotted here then? Maybe this is a little temple we can have a look at. Just spotted the gate behind us on the main road. And it looks like we have a big stupa at the end in the jungle. Well, check this out.
Just had a little impromptu tour of this small Buddhist temple by our lovely mate, the monk over there. He wants to get his phone so we can take a picture together, but yeah, this is just off the side of the road. Just saw the stupa, thought let's check it out. He told us in the actual stupa is one of Buddha's teeth. Very interesting. Really peaceful place to say the main road is literally there. I mean, on the main road, it's still super quiet anyway. This is Sri Lanka, but yeah, it's like paradise, isn't it? So peaceful. A big iguana. Oh yeah, we saw a massive iguana as well. Literally dived at me and it tried to steal my flipping bag. I think it was looking for the pit bikers. <laughs> Temple dogs have appeared. They're going wild for leash. <laughs> Look at this. They're quite cute to be fair. Well, they're attacking her. Come on. Let's go. Hey, 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 come on then. Come on, Leash. Okay. Very nice to meet you, okay? Goodbye, best of luck. Bye bye. Hey. Right, off we go, everyone. I left Leash alone for two minutes and she's gone and bought some flipping spoons. Some homemade like spoons from a lady who's come from the village. So I'm just going to show you what we've got here. Because Leash said the lady's really nice. We'll show you her words, what she's making. So I think there's some type of little event going on. People have brought all kinds of stuff from the villages to sell. So what's she got? So she's made these little spoons as well. She's also made these buttons. So little spoons, little buttons, and all from coconut. And then she's got loads of different types of spoons. What are these, like a, a sieve? Ooh. Hello, Gormada. She's got all kinds of good gear, hasn't she? She's got like a little mortar and pestle. Right, and what's over here on this side? Let me just get out of the buttons. What have we got here? So this is what you've just bought, Leisha, isn't it? Leisha just bought a couple of these spoons, which are actually quite cool if we just look at one. You can see it's all just made from coconut and wood. How cool is that? 40 rupees. Very well priced. So how much was all your stuff? How good is that? Alright. Oh my stuti. Goodbye. Very nice. Leach said, bless her. She couldn't add any of the prices up. She had to get someone to do it for her. Because obviously, if they're living in the village, they don't need to know stuff about it. I wish she'd take that microphone. I wish she had a massive bag. Of it's all laid up. Let's go. Left the wall for two minutes, and that's what she's doing. See that? Drive slow, wildlife crossing, elephants. Yeah, you heard me. We've come out for a sunset drive. Here in the national park area next to where we're staying, right? On the way in, we got pulled over at a police checkpoint to practice his English. He just sat us down, pulled some chairs out, and just had a chat with us. And we exchanged phone numbers. How about that? That's that's the type of pulling over you want, isn't it? But here we are, sunset. We've never seen a wild elephant. If we do see one, it'd be pretty cool, won't it? There's elephant poo everywhere. There's elephant crossings, elephant corridors. It's like a proper jungle, so we'll try and find a nice view, eh? Bloody hell. That's a rock and off, isn't it? Look at that. It's mad. What an absolutely beautiful place. Look at this. What a road. You've never seen how like it. Straight through a national park pretty much. Wow. And there you go. Proofs in pudding. That sign says there's elephant, so there is elephant. And we're gonna find them. Even if it means we have to come here three days in a row and drive the length of the national park, we'll find some. What the flipping hell's happened here then? What's that? Oh gosh! 
Oh gosh. It's a buffalo that's been mauled to death. Has it been hit by a truck you reckon or it's been got by something else? <laughs> that stinks, doesn't it? Oh, right, the whole road stinks. I wonder what got it. Maybe either a massive like wagon hit it. Maybe, yeah, because otherwise it would have eaten it if it were another animal, wouldn't it? Wow. Just spotted two elephants. A big one. Now a little baby I really doubt you can see on the camera. They're just over there in the bushes. Just chilling out, flopping their ears. How happy are you? <laughs> Leisha's always wanted to see them in the wild, and here we are. Not on a safari, just driving through the road, and they're here. Cool, isn't it? It's like off National Geographic. Again, I don't know if you can see, we've just found another four wild elephants literally just there, can you see? A second ago on the other side of the road was a full pack of wildebeest as well, but they either saw us or another predator. And they all, they all bolted together, they all ran into the bushes, it was crazy. This place is mad, you literally feel like you are in. Flipping David Attenborough show on the big screen. Wow. She's showing us her backside. How do you feel now? I'm so happy, unbelievable. And here we are. Just rented ourselves a bike and just gone for a drive in Sri Lanka. <laughs> We've seen about eight. We're gonna come here in another video. Just driving up and down all afternoon, seeing what we can spot. Heading into the stink zone for the second time. Oh god, oh god. That's one of the worst smells I've ever smelled. Pure rotting body. Poor sob. He's tried to run across the road. Next minute, he's gone. into the trees. Look at this view everyone. It's flipping unreal. Right, we've nipped into this little spot to end the day. Got a few snacky bits, what have we got? We've got a brew each, good old milk tea. Got a little veg triangle snack. Got some fresh hopper. Look at these, they look good don't they? And then these have come for this incredible looking sambar. Look at that, looks hot. And a gravy, which again looks really good. In fact, it looks a bit oily, but it looks all right. At least bought a weird coconut cake, which isn't very good. It's sour, so I think that means it's all. <laughs> so today, I mean, it wasn't the most eventful day, was it? It was all right. And so we just headed out, saw the flipping elephants, and um, that was pretty cool, weren't it? At least she's very happy. She's always wanted to see wild elephants, and we went and we've seen them. I think probably one of my favourite events of my life. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. The sun was setting. It was. Feel well close. So close, and that like yeah. road, it was clean. There was no litter anywhere. It was lovely, and they just kept it like normal. It's not like a tourist no, trap. No, it's not a tourist trap. They've not lured them in. It's just really nice. I'm really happy that we got to experience that. So there we go. It's been wild. <laughs> We're here for a few more days, probably do a bit more exploring, maybe make another video, maybe go deep into the National Park area, who knows, but yeah, let's um, finish this off and go to bed. I'm just going to try that um, 
chill it off. It looks flipping too good to not give a mention. So we'll break this up. Come on. Gosh, we don't want the crunchy bit. We want some of the middle, don't we? A nice spongy middle of the hopper. Come on. There we go. Let's see. Let's get a big pinch. There we go. Very cool. Oh, now it's hot. They are not messing around with that. Whoa. Very fresh. I like it. This looks good as well. Alright, enough chatting shit. So, uh, 